there are questions about whether this has racial overtones. I mean, here you have a man of color in the presidency and white people showing up with guns. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. These teabaggers, they turned everybody off. They were a bunch of like 75-year-old cranky white guys. There is an effort out there to demonize the first African-American president. Not surprising coming from a party that's 80% male and 100% white. The Reverend Al Sharpton, what's your reaction to hearing someone say, you know, uh, when it comes to income inequality, all's well. The rising tide floats all boats. Uh, I'm Reverend Jesse Jackson. Well, I'm sure it was the same thing with like civil rights, you know, people are against it now. Mm -hmm. They gotta explain this to their grandkids. It's like, granddad, is this your I hate Martin Luther King hat? The National Republican Campaign Committee, they issued a, um, a very provocative press release over the weekend. Why crooked Harlem Democrat, and did you see that as being racially tinged? If racism is not the whole of the Tea Party, it is in its heart. For Frank Rich to try to make, make this out to be people who oppose big government are racist is intellectually dishonest. This African-American congressman walking along here you gotta to wonder all about white crowd, so you gotta wonder about the on the guy. I see it more as another voice from the fringe. He makes statements that are just absolutely terrorizing. When people are using racial language, when people spit on a member of Congress, that's not a gray area. Reports of racial and homophobic slurs, one protester actually spitting on a congressman. Their extremism, uh, they're, you know, I mean, either looking the other way or encouraging harassment and violence. Because all black people are good athletes. I mean, that's what it sort of sounds like to oh. me. The fringe elements who show up for these rallies, some in the past have had offensive signs and rhetoric. The mayor believes the suspect acted alone. If I had to guess 25 cents, this would be exactly that. Somebody a who's homegrown. homegrown, maybe a mentally deranged person or somebody with a political agenda that doesn't like uh, the health care bill or something. It could be anything. Um, regarding the bombing in Times Square, uh, I believe it's another Glenn Beck follower. We have seen some racist signs at past events. Christians do that every single day in this country. Do they blow people up? Every yes, all up to Christians every day. Overwhelmingly white, male, Protestant and fired up. Matt Drudge takes the Matt Lauer quote and he, he casts it as Obama goes street. Substitute in the word black or Jewish and would that question to service members ever be okay? The NAACP has just adopted a resolution this evening at its annual convention condemning quote racist behavior by Tea Party members. At the end of the day if it's about rights fine but reject the people who want to bring race into the rally, into the party. It's okay to be Indian American, but we got a problem with this black president. Van Jones, the new Black Panther story. Acorn, Shirley Sherrod. What's similar about those stories, Dan? Is this yet another example of a rightist strategy to stir up racial resentment among whites by portraying whites as victims of black rule in this country? Conservatives fought against women's rights and they lost. They fought against civil rights for blacks, and they lost. Even angry words comparing the Tea Party to the KKK. Last year, there were a lot of signs that had rather racist overtones. The concern is that that might be repeated. He is the cotton-picking president of the United States. This is a racist group, predominantly racist group, partially racist group, or more racist than your average collection on a subway car in New York City. Several speakers and people in the crowd noted the diversity at the rally. Their insinuation, the Tea Party movement has attracted only a narrow slice of American. devastating influence in our country right now that's coming from fear and anger and widespread misunderstanding of what's actually causing the problems in our society. And I think that the racist Tea Party is one example of that. Um, and it makes me feel ashamed to be an American. We impeach Clarence Thomas. What do we do with him? What do we do with him? String him up. Put him back in the fields. Cut off his toes one by one and feed them to him. What do you say we do with Clarence Thomas after we impeach him? Your time, your space, your weapon. I pack block. String him up. No coat, Thomas. Thomas, his wife, Scalia, 
robbers? Oh my god. Because I'm all about peas, but I would say torture. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Going back in the field. Hang up.